Hi guys, my name is Crystal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is a follow-up video to the last one. So, me, Crystal, uh, went out onto the field last night with Max. As I was coming off the field, I noticed Charlie. Now, King Charles III is on holiday. He's a rich man. He's got a hundred thousand hundred thousand homes across across the country. He's got homes in Scotland. He's even got, I think, somewhere in um, Transylvania where Dracula was supposed to live, or Romania. He's got homes all over the place. Ch the real Charles, you know, Charles the Third, is. It's got homes and grand furniture all over the place. He's rich. And I don't know if this is someone's idea of a fucking joke, but it's not funny, right? I want to meet a man that can look after himself, right? I'm tired of meeting men that are dependent on drugs, alcohol. They can't even wash themselves, right? I, 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 um... So, you know, <sighs> right, let's start from last night. So, Charlie, with his black, you know I've done videos on YouTube, shorts with a black hat. Mm -hmm. Charlie is walking around the Rochester Riverside. He doesn't live in the new build flats. He doesn't live anywhere near I live. He lives near the Masonic Lodge, which is just off of Rochester High Street. And he's an elderly man. He's an old AP man. He's 60 something. And he walks a white dog called Samir. Um, so. I've done videos with a black cat. So has my son. Right. So this guy walks onto the field last night. He's all tattered. He's all dirty. Um, I've been to his girlfriend's home. He lives in his girlfriend's flat. It's not even his flat. She's paying the rent. She's looking after him. He can't look after himself. Right? So he comes onto the field and he's obviously looking for me. Because I've been to his flat, his girlfriend's flat twice. Yes, I've had a nice cup of tea and I've had slices of cake. But um, it, it was a more of a, of a chat with his female friend. Right, it was more like a therapy session with his female friend when I went round there. He didn't speak to me. He went off to his room and played on what he called his a, a piano, which is just a cheap keyboard that he's found somewhere, probably. So he walk, before he walks onto the field, a group of four people, like young people, walk on the field before Charlie gets onto it. Now, I'm right across the field, so I've, I've got good eyesight with my glasses on. So I saw these youngsters walking across the field, and I stayed back. And then I saw Charlie walk onto the field. He's, so, he's instantly recognisable. He wears this like black, greyish fisherman's hat. He's, got, like, a, he's sometimes wearing what looks like a dirty leather jacket dirty trousers and a dirty pair of shoes. Um, if he got cleaned himself up, he'd look really decent. If he had a bath or a shower, he'd smell nice and look nice and, and be respectable. But he's walking around and he looks like a tramp. So, and remember that King Charles III wears lovely posh suits, probably smells nice, all his servants look after him. So they're sending me a Charlie that looks like a tramp. Not only are they using me, they're using this bloke who is an ex-alcoholic. He needs help. His girlfriend said he needs to go to Alcoholics Anonymous because um, he keeps drinking and he sells her, her belongings to get money for drink. So I see, see him walking onto the field and I stay back. I don't want a confrontation, I don't want to have to call the police, uh, and I don't, want to, I don't really want to deal this, with this at nearly 8 o'clock at night. I just want to go home and rest, and I'm certainly not calling my mother. I'm 54 years old. <laughs> so, 
So I wait till Charlie goes down to the bottom of the field and then I walk Max off the field. I walk him off the field. And then you can see it's all tied in with each other, the neighbours downstairs. And that Glen isn't me. The Glen, the old Glen with the dyed bottled hair who's about five foot three, five foot four, goes around with a blue hooded jacket. She's an elderly lady. She's nice. She lets men into her flat and gives them a meal, which is lovely, but she's nearly 80. She's nearly 80. And the takeaway business was happening to me. I'm Crystal, I'm 54, I'm not an old lady. So, when I was coming back, I was feeling a bit upset because this is all that keeps happening to me I'm dodging this bloke come back down the back of the flats and Glenn and I will, I'll tell you in a minute as well because it's really weird Glenn is getting a takeaway off of a car driver she turns her back on me as I'm walking down the road and goes back into her flat and I told you Glenn is married to a guy that looks like Rupert Murdoch of the Sun newspaper. So I go down the back of the flats and I call off. Um, I have had to, uh, there was a load of dog barking about four and five o'clock yesterday afternoon, early evening, and it was terrible. It was like the whole street just had barking dogs down it for about an hour. And I hadn't been out anywhere yesterday. I hadn't gone out to the co-op. I've got money and I've got food in the fridge. There's sometimes you just don't want to go out to the shops, right? The weather isn't brilliant. And when I go shopping, I want to shop when I feel in a good mood because I don't want to come home with a, a load of crap that I don't want. Right? Which is sensible. So I just get back into my flat. Uh, and, and there's no phone calls from my mum, which is good. And I just want to re relax and rest in my flat. There's no noise upstairs. He's not annoying me, nor are his kids. And I just put the telly on. And I find something to watch. And I sit down and relax. And all the time I've got stupid messages off Flirt Finder. Whether they're real or fake, I don't know. Just, just trying to wind me up. Right? And weird photographs that I'm keeping as evidence. What I'm saying is, I was watching a Brian Harvey video. I do follow Brian Harvey. I think a lot of it makes sense when, when he's not shouting and ranting and, and going over the top. If you actually listen to what Brian Harvey's saying about Prince Andrew and what happened to him and his band uh, and the what, what's going on, right, and also this Paula man that is living in a tent in London and doing videos like I d did around Rochester, because I used to go around Rochester with my camera, filming it, going down the high street and talking while I'm filming, um, and he's got a profile picture up of a woman with glasses, and he's actually a fella called Cliff, apparently, He's called Cliff, but he's calling himself Paula Man on YouTube. And he lives in a tent at the moment outside the BBC studios in London. And that's certainly not me either. And what I'm saying about what happened to me as a child is 100% true. And I'm trying to get justice and compensation for both me and my mother who have been brutally treated by the police, if they were the police and not actors, and, and I want some answers, and yes, I do want compensation. I believe every day in my life is like a comedy film show. You know, people taking the fucking piss out of me and what I'm wearing, and my son, taking the fucking piss. When they don't know me, they haven't spoken to me, and they're just judging me. And they don't even know who I am. 
right? So, I was watching a, a Brian Harvey video talking about Prince Andrew and somebody called Glenn. And she's called Glenn downstairs. Glenn! And he looks like Rupert Murdoch. And I'm only saying what I see and what I believe to be the truth that I'm living in. I can only pinch myself and say I'm real. I don't know whether these people outside are real or they're actors. I'll be quite honest with you. And the doctors I've had as well. And it just seems like a load of porn mixed in between. Pornography. That nude bloke above Costa Coffee yesterday morning. People humping on the field when I'm going around it with my dog. And then this old guy who's all dirty called Charlie tries, his, tries to kiss me on the Rochester Riverside field. And there's people been bonking on there when I've been walking around it by myself. So it's like a comedy mixed with pornography. And I'm certainly not going to kiss an old man with no teeth that hasn't had a bath for nine months. Who the hell do you think I am? If you're that desperate for money, ask for it. Don't use people. So whatever I listen to, they just seem to be listening. So, Brian Harvey's talking about Glenn, or someone's talking about Glenn on YouTube, and then Glenn comes out and gets a takeaway. <laughs> and one of these days I'm going to prove to people what I'm saying is not madness at all. Whatever I say in my flat, or what I watch, or what I'm listening to, someone else is listening with their big Prince Charles ears, or King Charles ears as he is now. They're massive ears. Nosy. I'm 54 years old, I'm entitled to my privacy. Listen to that, you ear wiggers. God, I'm not some kind of kid. Yeah, it's just rude, isn't it? Say you're having sex in your flat and they're listening to it. It's absolutely disgusting. They're perverts. I am now going to get on with the rest of my day. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's just like a fucking freak show out there. You go into the shop and they stage their shit. I can't even buy a newspaper in peace. Uh, when I was in Chatham, and I, uh, women would go into the shop in a dirty, smelly nightdress and stand behind me. All the flies would be hovering past this woman, yeah? She'd walk in with a stained uh, nightdress and slippers and just go in the shop behind me. When I came down to Chatham to meet my parents, they were dressed like hobos, tramps. Dad had hairs on his cardigan, my mum had dirty old jeans on. Don't tell me, I don't know what the fuck is going on. All I know is I haven't got a lot of money, but I, I look after myself. I change my clothes sometimes three times a day. And I have a shower. This is fucking wrong. So wrong. To be, to be bloody hounded all your life, just because you want answers. Uh, to why you were abused as a child and they can't, can't, they haven't got the guts, they're chickens to tell you what the fuck is going on and the truth. And if you speak it, you're fucking um, intimidated. See you later.